It could not have been a bleaker beginning to a brand new decade. In early 1980, the Soviet Union was rumbling deep into Afghanistan, crushing the country with tanks and well-armed troops. In Iran, 52 Americans were being held hostage, and back home, people watched in despair, feeling helpless and angry. There were long gas lines and short tempers. The once mighty U.S. economy was sputtering. It seemed that boosting American spirits would take nothing short of a miracle. That February in a snowy village in upstate New York, a miracle is exactly what this country got. America was looking for something to feel good about, and it happened to be us. Mike Ruzioni was the young, untested captain of a young, untested American hockey team. We were America. You know, we were uh, a lot of working class kids with great values, great work ethic. I think people could relate, relate to the pride that we took in playing for our country. The young team was taking on the ultimate opponent, the Soviet Union. The Soviet hockey team had been so dominant. Uh, they'd won four straight gold medals from 64, 68, 72, and 76. These players had been playing together uh, for years. Uh, they, were, they were essentially a professional team. It's the ultimate David versus Goliath story. As America's team took the ice, the whole world was watching. The whole country was hoping. I remember we got a telegram from a lady in Texas, and all the telegram said was, beat those commie bastards. And it had nothing to do with a hockey game. This is how people in this country looked at that game. That's why the moment was so special. I scored with 10 minutes left to go in the game. That was the longest 10 minutes of our, any of our lives. But um, we played really well, we played really solid. And um, you know, Herb, Herb kept telling us, play your game, play your game. In a small Michigan town, a 10-year-old hockey player stepped off the ice and watched history in the making. And they had, you know, back then, little black and white 10, 12-inch TVs in each corner of the lobby of the, the hockey rink. And uh, they had the game on, and all the teams just stopped, and we went in there and watched it bunch of kids and in our hockey gear watching the, the Russian game. It was just total underdog, a Cinderella thing. What I remember is on the ice, when you were skating around, you could hear the USA, USA chants. You could hear the place going crazy. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! The last time I wore this jersey was when we played the Soviets. And beat the Soviets, may I add. <laughs> Today, Mike Arruzioni has gathered his collection of clothing, gear, and mementos from the 1980 Olympics. One last time, offering others a chance to hold part of a miracle in their hands. I think the benefits that I will hopefully receive from all this stuff is gonna do a lot of great things for a, a lot of great people. And that's what life's all about. You're supposed to give back. Um, we, we were given, and my teammates and I were given an incredible, incredible moment and opportunity. It's, I mean, look at what it's done for my life and what it's given me. Uh, so shame on me if I, if I don't give back. They may simply be pieces of fabric and leather and wood, but they have the power to turn a superstar into a fan. My first stick was a Northland oh, when, really? I was, when I was seven. To turn someone who has seen it all into a little kid again. Holding Mike Ruzioni's hockey stick, the very stick that he used to score the game-winning goal against the Soviet Union, and the miracle on ice, it's, uh, it's, it's indescribable. It's, it's really, a, uh, it's why I do this. It's why I love this. I hope the, the person who buys the memorabilia um, appreciates it as, mu as much as I did and takes great pride in knowing that they have a piece of history, uh, not a piece of a sporting event, but a piece of American history. A piece of a miracle. By us beating the Soviets, the hostages didn't get released. They didn't pull out of Afghanistan. The economy didn't change right away. What our victory did was gave America hope. And, and made people feel proud to be an American.